The look for Jason Wu is like based on Charlotte Rampling. So we do it very sophisticated, but we're doing like a side party, very flat in the front. And in the ponytail, we're putting some waves with the curling iron. We're using Kerasa's product and it looks fabulous. Doing very soft, kind of sexy, sultry eyes. We're lining the eye with a brown pencil, removing it with moisturizer and then just creating more depth with a cream base eyeshadow brown. Filling in eyebrows and brushing. We're contouring the cheeks using a shimmer peach across the cheeks, giving that very dewy effect and just putting lip balm on the lips. So it's just enhancing the girl's features, really giving a luminous skin and just making them look really fresh and beautiful. It was about beautiful, beautiful fabrication. I think that's really important, and especially for luxury. You know, in luxury, you have to have the most impeccable fabrics, and but the idea of treating them in a way that's easy, in a denim -y way almost, is fun. And it's, it's a little, you know, it's have a little sense of humor, and uh, also paying tribute to American sportswear, and as an American designer, that's very important to me. Diane Kruger is somebody that's not only a very talented actress, but she's also somebody with just so, such self-confidence. And, you know, Diane is obviously a great friend and been my muse for many, many years. And uh, one day she gave me a hard time, said, you named bags after all your favorite models, but you have not made one for your muse. And so we did create that bag together, and it really felt like the quintessential woman for the season. I mean, in fact, I can see Diane in almost everything in the collection. Spectacular. I mean, unbelievable show. I think Jason went back to what he's good at, which is, you know, that sportswear with the twist and the way you take things apart and put it together. He always seems to infuse a little funkiness via color or pattern that makes it a little bit more street. But there's a lot of classics. Jason elevated American sportswear. This wasn't exactly casual. Everything was so sensual, fabrication, the workmanship, the craftsmanship, the color palette. This was the pinnacle of perfection. He really is a world-class designer. Jason Wu's simple, seamless, elegant. It looked very French in its styling, sort of not fussy. There weren't a lot of bells and whistles. That having been said, to do simple is one of the hardest things to do. But there's definitely an ease, an insouciance, a brightness and a lightness and an uncomplication.
This is the way that people want to look. This is the way that people want to dress. So he's not um, scaring anybody. He's not shocking anybody. He's not trying to dress gaga. He's really, you know, knows his customer, and that's so important for designers. Everything on that runway could be worn by the right person at the right place and be elegant and right on. There's a spirit to his clothes that they're not trying too hard. And that's the great thing about what's happening with American sportswear right now, that it's a little bit more glamorous than ever before. It's more interesting than ever before, but it's still, there's this ease because it's cool and easy. I think ease is important in the world that's very important to women today. And I think there's something quite sexy about ease, you know, and, and there's something that's also quite sophisticated about clothes that just move with a body that embraces a beautiful body, different shapes and size and forms.